Now it's time to create our foot area. So if we take a look at our design, the foot area looks like this. So the get in touch and services about and then there is some options or some text here. Now let's go back to our editor and currently I'm inside the header area. Now I have to navigate to the you can navigate to the sites from here. Just click over here. It's selected header and uh, you can just uh, go to template or browse all header or clear customization <laughs> do not click here because it will clear everything from here well now go to template and go to page the page template looks like this and if I scroll down here you can see the footer now we have designed our header navigating to the uh, template parts and then header but you can also navigate the footer from here and if you take a look at closely there is a green uh, it's not green there is a blue uh, circle which is uh, refers that this template has been customized but if you take a look at other template it's not customized and you can always reset or clear your customization based on a specific template from here and you can also create a new header but i'm not going to create new header at this moment and you can navigate the footer from here but i'm now i'm going to navigate the footer from sites there's two way you can also edit footer from here or, or you can navigate footer from template now i'm going to navigate the footer i can select it from here it will just select the footer and take me to the foot area or i can click anywhere here or i can click the foot area it's pretty straightforward now for the footer i would like to edit or change the footer uh, that looks like my design currently inside the figma go to editor and open the list view select footer and select the block again select group and navigate to the color change the background color first to this color well and there is a group options there is a row and a lot of information here so i'm not going to change anything at this moment let's take a look closely and start making a one by one so inside the group there is a row and there is group and something else you can remove all of them from here and start from scratch so i can remove them and inside the group here you can see there is nothing so i can insert column four column okay there is four column one two three four right now i'm going to use not four column here so the column looks like very narrow here now let's make it uh, wider and choose okay let's add another column here just duplicate and here you can see four column right click over here and add the logo you can click browse all or you can search here site logo i have already uploaded the site logo in my server because i have created the header using the same site logo right and reduce the size after that inside the column area you can add paragraph and paste your copy text here that i have copied and you can make it a white color now the next part i'll be adding some more information called service the service font is semi bold 20 pixel and source seri pro well click here and type heading services you can use h2 h3 whatever you want so i'm going to use h2 at this moment and i can make the font size so i just change the appearance from normal to semi bold and if you want to change the font size here you can see you can always click on this icon here and the font size is 20 pixel 
well now if i click on color the text color should be white and that's all so now it's time to add our menu let's copy and click on the plus icon type here or you can simply uh, view your recent used item that i have used already navigation you can also uh, type navigation and here you can see the navigation and you can select menu we have uh, three navigation uh, because i have create over and over for the header and those are uh, mostly mistake so you can start from over here and click here let's add something hash because without adding hash you cannot type anything here uh, it's it's a bug and uh, hopefully they will uh, fix this later on let's paste your copy text which is called luxurious spa and then click here and click again and add hash then click over here again after that remove the hash and copy the text from here stone therapy paste it here now the menu looks like this it's it doesn't display as expected right now if i go to footer and select the navigation here you can see the menu uh, layout so you can change the menu layout uh, the orientation should be vertical and it looks like this and the color should be a white color and also you can take a look at the typography you can change the size of the typography and also there is a couple of options you can change them on uh, mobile devices so i'm not i'm not going to show you those changes at this moment when i uh, show the live preview you will be able to understand uh, exactly what you should change or what you should keep here now click over here and this is the stone therapy and this is luxurious spy you can add link here currently it's a hash and you can also add link here now copy the text from here and you already know what you should do now well and there is another one so i'm going to just duplicate all of them here i'm not going to spend so much time for creating the same thing again and again the font size is 16 pixel here let's change the font size for the navigation which is 16 pixel now it looks like this so i'm going to copy the exact um, menu uh, for other column at this moment just copy uh, duplicate and drop it here also duplicate and it should call about should display let's change our story pricing experts and contact us our story okay when i change it here it also changed the left side also it's very interesting because i have copied the menu and i didn't create a new menu here and uh, especially it works globally so you cannot change it individually from here so that's why um, i have to create another menu from here and start empty then i already click start empty here hash about and then click over here 
hash and then services our story uh, pricing export contract okay our story pricing exports and contact And the last one is contact us. Well, the font size should be 16 pixel. And now it looks like this. And also, if you take a look at closely here, this column is a little bit bigger than the other column. And the first one and the last one is bigger. Let's copy them. And create it very quickly here it's semi bold and 20 pixel the color should be white color so i just uh going a little bit faster little bit faster not so fast and add paragraph text color white color and also another paragraph which is our phone number and email address well now it's done and the next thing or the final thing that i have to complete which is the column width i can always change the column width to 40 pixel uh not pixel it should be percentage 40 percent or i can change it to 30 then the another one should be 30 percent not pixel percentage now it looks perfect and it looks better let's change the color and also change the color from here Now, as you can see, if you take a look at close, let's just save change and go to our front page and reload the page. The footer looks like this. So there is a couple of things spacing that we need to work on it. And let's make it similar. The last column is a little bit bigger. I think we can use 25 pixel which is perfect now and we can increase this column to 35 pixel well now if i select the group area and take a look at here you can see the dimension you can see the padding spacing here so i can add a zero top so the top zero i should add at least 70 per, uh, pixel and the bottom should be 70 pixel padding and now at the bottom area i can add my copyright okay i cannot select this one so just click over here and type here copy so there is a copyright a food and navigation copyright and if i just select here i can see the copyright with the menu item it's uh, really uh, looks great and it comes with all of the default features and uh, i can remove them here and also if you take a look at here closely there is some padding i'm going to remove them as well and also remove the block spacing also remove the em from here so make sure when you add um, anything any new things here make sure you have removed them and you have uh, select your own customization so i can just type here all right 
preserved by Riyad Mahmoud and it looks like this so we just complete our footer area I can add some spacing at the top here so what should I do I just click over here and add spacer Forty five pixels is enough and select the footer group area to reduce the bottom part. Now it looks perfect. I reload the page again. So as you can see, we just complete our header and foot area. Now in the next part, I'll be completing the responsive part of the header and foot area. Thank you so much for watching this video.